Welcome, this is where nerds come to learn things. If it's your first time here, click on the subscribe button and on the bell icon to get notifications about new videos. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoy it. Hi, mailbag time. Now I've got a few items here ready to go. I've got something a new knife. I thought I'd do something a bit different. You know, everyone's got a normal knife, you know. Why do you need a knife? I mean, Dave's got that big thing. So, I've got a new knife. It's a stick of RAM. But, why not? It works just as well. So there'll be links for, for these things down below in the description as well. You'll see these on the bench when I get closer. Have a look at these in a minute. So these are some, uh, these are momentary push buttons. Got a set of those. And a bunch of USB connectors. Set of those. So we'll have a closer to these benches in a minute. I was going to say something. What was that? I forgot what I was going to say. Okay, so it's these connectors and stuff I was looking at before. So we've got the momentary buttons. Let's look at these first. Ooh, nice, it's like individual, individual little boxes. That's pretty cool. So we've got some momentaries in there. Different kind of package styles. I'm just going to focus. Come on. Yeah. Um, different types in there as well. Little dome ones. Lots of different sizes, different package types, button types, just basically a nice assortment. Rectangular, square, um, the dome one I saw before I think it's actually very similar to one I was using, that I use in remote controls for um, car remote controls. These ones here also very similar, might be handy. Just a nice little assortment. Very cool. I've got that because the amount of times I've actually wished I had like a little switch for something, and I've one which has been dirty, I've had to try and clean it instead of replacing it because I haven't had one. Well, now I've actually got a chance, I'm going to have the right switch. What's in here? This is a whole bunch of USBs. I'm not going to open that. I'm not going to open it because no point, but you can see what's in here. So, we've got some USB 3 sockets, just a so bunch of different sockets, UDA types. Um, or USB A, so USB 2 and USB 3 sockets in there. Um, angled, no, right angled, straight, PCB mount, um, straight on mount ones. Just a really nice little assortment. Again, sometimes you just need to replace one, and um, it's been a few times where I probably should have replaced one and I haven't. Again, now I've got a Hopefully you got one that you actually do the job. This is fairly cheap. So there'll be links down below in the description for these items. Um, as always, I'll try and put links down. And um, these are two, obviously they came from the same seller. But they've got a, a wide range of different ones. They've got mini USBs and stuff as well. I should get some more of those too, actually. Um, but yeah, check the links out. It's all affiliated, so I actually get like some money from it if you buy it. If it's in Banggood anyway, AliExpress, I don't know if it's even working, but don't touch your best anymore. I've gone off them. Oh yeah, make sure you share this video to your friends and social media and stuff like that too. If you think anyone might be interested, see something they might like, like you know, spare parts, whatever. Always helps the channel. Give us a thumbs up if you like it, or if you don't like it, give us a thumbs down, but put down comments down below why you don't like it. I like to hear feedback. That one's just constructive. We have here. Ah, okay. It's a flash light thing for my camera. Um, I went through a little spin while I purchased these lights I'm using right now. I um, went through and bought a light for the camera as well, which is a hot shoe mount. You know, we'll get to this again on the bench in a minute. We'll look at this in more detail. Take the batteries too, I think. Mm -hmm. 
So this is that light which is supposed to go on top of the camera. It looks like it takes batteries. Oh, cool. Yeah, don't lose the top by having it like that. So it takes some AAs for the looks of it. And it's a hot shoe mount. So it's got those pins on there. What brand is it? Speedlight JY610C. It's supposed to be like a flash and stuff, so it's angleable as well. Oh, it pops out. And it's got infrared, I don't know, maybe it's a remote control. The fact it's got a hot shoe mount is interesting. I guess that means when you activate the camera, it will activate the flash on this. I thought I'd just give it a go if it's any help in videos, maybe. Maybe there's times when I need it, or I may never use it whatsoever. I mean, I've got a hot shoe mount on the camera, I just don't use it. Well, I've fitted the speed light to the camera, put some batteries in it. it doesn't seem to turn on. Uh, so, I would have thought that with it, even just with batteries in it, I should be able to turn it on, but I'll put it on the camera. Uh, but it doesn't seem to go. Um, attention, attention, attention. All right, let's just look at actually reading it, shall we? What's it supposed to do? It's all the batteries, yes. I've done that, as per this. It's got markers inside, so I've done that. Um, I don't know, it just doesn't seem to work. Oh, there we go, his unit. No power. Hold it down. Oh no, there we go. This wasn't holding it down for long enough. ETTL, what does that mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cause I'm an expert on this stuff, you know. Okay, well, it is turning on now then. I just don't know how to use it. Okay, so um Initially, I thought this thing didn't work, but it turned out I wasn't actually holding the button down long enough. So you push it, and like nothing happening. But I was actually push it for long enough, then it comes on. I just wasn't doing it right, apparently. Uh, modes, manual mode, I guess. Um, so it's got all sorts of adjustments on here. Oh, I just don't know how bloody to do it. Anyway, so yeah, it looks like it probably will work. I just need to figure out how to actually use it. And like anything, there's a bit of a learning curve. But it's got different modes, flash output ratios, adjusting coverage, uh, mounting it here, don't even mounting it here. It does a lot. Well, to me, it's a lot. I don't know, maybe someone else thinks, oh, no, it's actually crap. I don't know. I, I really have no idea. But you can see it's like a slave as well, it doesn't have to be mounted on the camera. I think it's going to be like wirelessly linked to it and stuff like that. It's probably infrared, I'm, I'm guessing, I don't know. But um, yeah, I really just need to figure that out. If I even turn that to need it or not, I don't know. Yeah. Next thing, Iris. What's in here? It's probably capacitors, you know how I like to be buying capacitors. It's capacitors. It's more capacitors. How did I guess? Oh, well, I shouldn't have. I did buy them. Yeah, there goes. But what do we get? Uh, 25 volt, 1000 microfarad, and 25 volt, 3300 microfarad. I don't remember why I bought those now. I think it might have been low, it might be restocking. It happens. So these are those capacitors. Um, oh, you've got a small well sealed bag. What are they? Nichicon? Yeah, Nichicon caps. That's a microfarad, 25 volt. Um, I was talking to Rob actually today, or oh, yesterday, sorry. Um, he gave me all these bits of test gear to look at. He, he pointed out, I tend to say UF a lot instead of microfarad. It's like, yeah, I should say microfarad. I just one of these things I just don't really think about it. I thought UF was just easier, but it's not actually a U, is it? Is it a mu? Mu F? I can't remember. It's actually got a name for that symbol. Um, but anyway, 3300 microfarad, 25 volt, Nichicons also. Again, probably just for stock. Um, it's five in there. This back has got the right number. It says it's actually not sealed properly. I dropped any of that. I should check that, shouldn't I? Make sure we're in there. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Oh crap. 
5, 10, 15, 20. Yes, all there. It's supposed to be 20, is there? It says 25. Hmm. I think I got ripped off. Right, that's from this one. I have to say, my little ram sticks working quite well as a knife. It's just as effective as the other one. The other one was pretty bad though. What the hell is this? Oh, right. T12 soldering iron tip. Not that exciting. It's just the soldering iron tip. Okay, so this is a T12 BCN2 tip. I think they've got a um, concave tip. Yeah, it does. I don't know if I can get the camera to focus on it though. Focus, you bugger. You may, you may just get it there. You can see the light on there just. It's got a concave tip on it, so which means it actually holds a little bit of solder in the tip. It's. I don't know. I think Lewis Rossman mentioned it, so I bought one to see how it goes like. It's a tip. I really hope the audio is working. One day it won't, I'm gonna get screwed over. Right. You know, if this doesn't work very well, this, this RAM stick as a knife. It's a one gigabyte RAM. I think I might upgrade to like a four gigabyte RAM. It might work better. Okay, um, this is a colour card. Right, so there's a grey and a white. So these are meant for getting colour balance settings set up on your camera. Like the white point and stuff like that. Now, I previously haven't had one, um, but I saw Dave uh, did one, did a video a couple of weeks back now, and he was mentioning about doing, you know, using his colour cards. He actually showed them what he's trying to do is lighting he's trying to get his kelvin rating for his lighting so he's using his, his he's using the white panel there to work out the kelvin rating based on what the camera was seeing so i thought oh, that's a good idea i should get some of these little panels so i've got some They're a bit bigger than dave's though okay dave's got a bigger knife i've got a bigger panel so this thing so color balance card i did actually originally order uh black gray and white that's what older but they didn't actually have it in stock as it turned out. They, they had it for sale, but it turned out, oh no. Nah. They didn't have any after all. So I had to get these instead. Which is fine. I mean, it's, it's the white is the main one I really wanted anyway. I thought, you know, maybe I'll use that for setting colour balances up on it. So I will need to make sure these go somewhere dark so they don't get the, any effects on the UV affecting them, you know, as I go off colour. So I can store them somewhere dark and potatoes don't get stretched up. And, I can probably use these in some way to maybe calibrate my camera a little bit better. I don't know. I thought I'd just have a look at them because they were cheap and why the hell not? Thanks for watching. Subscribe and that sort of stuff. Oh, I guess I'm... Oh. It's not in bloody focus again, you piece of Quack. shit. Oh. Quack. Focus, you bastard. Come on.